Okay, test case 7 will use a 10 with polygon boundaries. So you can see that it's option 2 of the correct grid elevation tool. Now what I have here is the clipped elevation. I'm going to move it down into the external layers. I have the clipped elevation, which we don't need, but I do need to reset the elevation real quick, so that's why I, bought, I popped it in, because this is the completed project. So let me just reset the elevation. And now if you look at this, you can see that our median is inside our elevation. And so if I use this tool to correct elevation, it's going to, I'm going to pick up the tin based on the elevation polygon boundaries and click OK. And once you reset the elevation, you'll see that if you turn off the clipped elevation, you'll see that it just uh, interpolated from the edges of the polygon to remove that raised area out of the elevation. And so in this case, you just need the elevation polygon. It doesn't have any uh, attributes. Its attributes can be empty. See, elevation zero, correction zero, membership grid, that's important. And you just set it to 10 based on elevation polygon boundaries and click OK and it will correct the elevation for this particular grid.